Did you want to run away? Did you want to fly? Oh, yes. I use different words for it because I think being a woman limited me in some regard. I thought only of um, certain kinds of art forms I wanted to be involved in, and they included dancing. I wanted really to be Maria Tall Chief most of my life. But that's why the book is about men, because when I thought of that idea, I couldn't use women characters to explicate that idea. Which you had done in your previous My previous novels. books are all, the major characters are women, or young women, older women, and they are the ones, they are the center of the book, and it's sort of closed like a room, like a house. But this book, because it was about both freedom and escape and abandonment and triumph, had to be about men. And it was an enormous difference for me, a, a huge difference. Is I'd never really tried to become that intimate with a character, a man, to try to feel what it was really like to think about dominion, power, those kinds of things were, are alien to me in a way. Although I have done sketches of men, I've been a little fearful of going rather deeply inside. When did you know that you were going to be a writer? I, I never thought about it. I, I started to write when I was in a lonely place, and I was writing really for me and not for publication and not for anybody. I was a way of talking. It was a way of talking then. So I talked to myself a lot. And then later I'd written more and more, and I had a larger story that looked like a novel. And I sent it to some people, and they sent it back, and that happened a lot. And then finally there was an editor who had seen it, but <clears throat> was about to move <clears throat> excuse me, to another publishing company. And he said, when I move, I'd like to see it again. And he went to Holt, and he bought it. And by that time I had begun to write, you see, and I didn't want to... Stop. I didn't want to think any other way. It was so terrific to be able to uh, see the world that way. It was coherent. Things that were disorganized for me before made sense when I manipulated it. I could, exp I saw colors and remembered music and language. All the things that I guess had made life interesting, I could employ. And it was just a way of it was a way of thinking and a way of feeling. It was a way of life. I even know now, I, I certainly hope that I am a successful writer. But I know that if uh, there were no publishing companies left in the world, I would still do it. When we used to beat Homer, and it was always extraordinary to me that he never had a villain that was only that. The Cyclops, you know, who ate those men and was really an awful, awful monster. There's that marvelous passage, you know, when he's talking to the sheep as they're going out of the cave and all the men are underneath and this last one, and he talks to him as though he were his, his friend. And at that moment, you feel very sorry for this man that 20 pages earlier had been eating human beings. And I was a little annoyed by Ulysses for calling him names and tricking him. That ability to see both sides. Tony Morrison, why in a, in a period of 10, 20 years, when many people would say equal justice under the law, better housing, better schools, these are the things we should consider ourselves with in fact and perhaps in our fiction. Why is it that you have dared to go all the way out and say storytelling? <laughs> Myth, belief in magic, these are all so important. Well, it's truth. It's not fact. I know, but it is truth. And that's where truth lies in our myths, uh, in our songs. That's where the seeds are. It's not possible to constantly hone on the crisis. It, it, you have to have the love and you have to have the magic. That's also life. And I regard it, even though it may sound as though I'm dealing in fantasy, I don't think so. I find it all terribly realistic because I regard my responsibilities as a black writer as someone who must bear witness, someone who must record the way it used to be, the way it ought to be. 
I leave to the sociologists, but I want to make sure that a, a little piece of the world that I knew, a little piece that I knew, doesn't get forgotten. Mm-hmm.